hello there cancer welcome to your reading this is your energy forecast for the week of 9th until the 16th of september let's get started with your messages starting from the heart position remember to apply any part of this message for yourself turn the rules around or even something that could be happening around you okay messages for cancerians the hanged man is in the heart area uh, this is pisces straight up so there could be a pisces in the picture um this could be connected to pisces as well maybe some astrological events uh, saturn retrograde is in the sign of pisces i believe neptune retrograde as well so everything connected to dreams so i feel like there's a ton around in your world that is happening here it could be in your paradigm your world and this feels like a positive one it could come with you gaining enlightenment or maybe going in to strategize here okay and this is coming in the home position so it could also be to do with the home front or your source of structure stability also a workplace okay uh, eight of wands is in the cross position eight of wands upright is a fast movement going on here so a lot of changes um or someone could be coming in very fast and that is in the cross position so perhaps in all of this like fast movement you are moving into to kind of um gain to see things from a different light it may look like the hanged man doesn't choose to go in they just find themselves doing that so they may describe this as feeling stuck or feeling like they're not able to move and then they go hanging upside down that could be literal and in that they are gaining enlightenment they're like oh okay now i see that differently that kind of thing it could be some one or some situations that are seeing you differently as well in the past position ace of wands so the ace of wands is light a revelation maybe a new passion a new something and a new and passionate adventure it could be an inspiration as well or yeah something to do with the uh, light something coming to light for you in the future position ace of cups hmm. i feel like your light is being returned in that past position there is something and how that can happen is like situations where could, could have caused a lot of burden you know before the ace of wands is the ten of wands where you may have felt burdened, carried a lot of burden, or situations that may have wanted to cause that, you have regained your light, which means you have dropped off a lot of baggage. And that may come in the physical, like you feeling tired or you feeling the need to rest more or to sleep more. And that has returned your energy. You know, a new kind of energy has been, you know, you've kind of activated a new source of energy for yourself in the process okay so the ace of cups in the future position this is newness and this could come with emotions as well before the ace of cups is the ten of cups so the peak of fulfillment and that in the ten of cups can come with maybe situations where we feel like <laughs> you know that kind of thing hi hi um but then it's not coming from the depth and the ace comes as newness where we are able to operate from our depth so this is all together a uh, very healing is it's releasing a lot of stock energies for you now on the outside there could be someone who is bringing in that wand and they could be coming in or they want to come in very fast and offer a new cup of love in the root area seven of wands in the crown area the hierophant so seven of wands seven and eight brings to like it comes down to 15 so that is saturn there's a lot of warfare going on still still you have your energy and your creativity being returned to you or at least some major ingredients in that master manifesto list seven of wands protection in the root you may find yourself protecting yourself like maybe through boundaries or even challenging yourself to to do something or to go in whatever needs to be done 
you could also be protecting yourself here or you're protected from a situation or several situations uh, the hierophant is taurus so there could be a taurus in the picture out there in the crown so it's out there the hierophant could be about commitments it could be about relationships or it could be a commitment maybe you're coming into a commitment and you're also changing commitments and how that can happen could be like a moving from single to married moving from married to single you know or moving from this position in the workplace to self-employed something like that it could come in different ways as well approach six of wands so this is a recognition without like outside people recognizing you like you out in the light you see seven and six is leo so the light revelations there could be a masculine energy here or it could be about your masculine it has to do with manifestations i'll explain that more after but this is approach like someone recognizing you or the other way around or you coming into recognition here yeah. uh, ten of cups outside influences now that is coming with the ace of cups or after the ace of cups so you're ending something and it doesn't have to be movement in diff to different places it could be it could be like you're moving or you have moved but whatever your ending has to do with emotions this means maybe the way you go about and I said this with uh, Scorpio as well about like most times we look to move into a new environment. But what we come to understand is in that new environment, we're meeting similar situations and we get to see that we need to step out because wherever we move to, there will be similar in a nutshell. Right. So I feel like you ha you're having a shift in paradigm here about how you show up in different situations and by doing that it has to do with power a uh, form of transformation because what pluto in capricorn is making us do is definitely like situations that will put you down before they're causing a transformation on a cellular level so this is what i'm getting for you 13 coming down to four so this feels like there is movement in structure there's a move around like a rearrangement going on here 13 plus 8 is 21 in that rearrangement yeah there is a kind of expansion and it's all happening fast maybe this is why you are needing to to go in okay the devil in hopes and fears capricorn hopes and fears for the devil so first of all uh capricorn saturn there could be someone who is like weighing weighing the options here it could be you as well like to drive or to stop to move or to wait you could find yourself doing this hmm. or this person could be doing that a nine of swords for the area of outcome so out this is like not sleeping I see this bottom half of the staff has 10 cups, 6 wands, the top half, 9 of swords, the devil. It feels like a, like a split. It doesn't mean this is more positive than that, but it just feels split in terms of like light and dark. So there's still stuff going on in the below. And you are... Or you could be in a place where you could describe this as feeling stuck. 
and as soon as you go in there are ideas coming in for you it's an eliciting of creativity so you could be a creative or just overall connected to inspiration and that is bringing a lot of challenge to the past like whether in the form of people because they're trying to bring you blockages but then your creativity or your purpose like you just aligning with what gives you what keeps you in the flow is protecting you so i feel like they're not happy about this they're really not happy that you get to experience and believe it or not and of course this is your experience there are many people that are not happy when they see someone in the flow like simply living it's something that irks them that kind of um triggers their demons because they've learned to stay in maybe on one part or just leave everything and the thing is i'm not getting like you are in a place where you are like uh, challenging anyone it's just living but that in itself is triggering a lot of energies in your in your field in your energetic field and whatever they're trying to do there is a fight that you are coming with alongside others of course this is like an energetic level but then it's renewing your light for you it's unblocking you so this week may find you still needing to go in this time around yeah instead of like feeling tired with the ace of wands you could find yourself just like connecting with your emotions more it's a form of protection a different kind of protection that you're kind of transitioning into a different kind of protection to suit the circumstances wow at the bottom of the deck four of wands nine of pentacles so you've reached a major milestone here you have victory and that's for sure you have victory from situations that are trying to cause you conflict on the energy like energetic level on the mental level as well okay what do we have from the life and career deck innovation you will need to come up with new strategies to keep your plans in motion old ways are outdated invent create and test ideas so i feel this is connected to the crown area and the nine of swords on the table time to put your demands on the table and get serious about what you want ask for a raise a promotion or a step up so this could be connected to the, the root area it's a fact that with mercury squaring uranus pluto in capricorn is definitely challenging the way we go about our work innovations your plans are your dreams are consolidating into fruition right they are coming into reality and you may be challenging yourself here to to step up or making challenges maybe in the workplace in the home as well you could be challenging others around you as well like get up you know you need to make the best of your time uh yeah you need to make the best of your mornings that kind of thing is a lot of motivation a lot of drive coming up here okay ace of wands seven of wands so seven of wands is coming out twice Oof, this is like a highly energetic reading for you i'm loving it as well 
I'm loving it. The hanged one, the lovers, Gemini. So there could be a Gemini in the picture. I feel someone is getting to see you differently here. Ace of Cups, Prince of Wands. So there could be a love connection. Now the Prince of Wands could be some news coming in or a message. Discern these offers as always. A new offer. Six of Wands, Strength. Leo at the root area. You do have a protective energy in the root. So connected to Saturn shadows, the snakes, you know, getting their way in or looking for a small portal to come in. Keep working on yourself, your validating of self, like when it comes to emotional validation. Okay. Ten of Cups. The sun, outside influences. So this feels really good. A new beginnings. The devil, queen of wands. Leo, Sag, Aries. I feel this is about your magnetism as well. Oof. I'm getting a fiery energy for you. Um, there's a lot of passion here drive and you know that can be connected to sexual drive as well so i'm getting that as well mm. there are energies that you are attracting that you may not want and you know this so this is where your protection comes in on your part so a kind of energetic discernment is needed nine of swords nine of pentacles and there was nine of pentacles over there you're taking ownership of your own ship you know, when we talk about relationships, it's all about that ships, the cargo, the what takes us from one point to another. You are taking ownership of that. And that is, is a big drive. It's Yeah, so I can imagine you are there and the kind of attraction that you get. Uh, so of course, like all of this is working for your good and what you're being guided is just to like know what it is that you don't want in your energy because they all want to come back in somehow. You do have some really beautiful protection going on. Um, yeah. And this innovation and the hierophant, someone could be innovating something or looking for a way in the snakes did come up somewhere in the root angels and ancestors cancerians earth guardian stay rooted and grounded so so important drum dream and journey So the Earth Guardian is my number one card for like evil eye, envy. Of course, you're attracting different energies. 101. Take time to connect deeply with the energy of the Earth so that you can feel supported and make decisions based on strength and integrity. It's important for you to take a grounded approach to your current situation. If you are rushing ahead or making a decision based on your more fearful responses, you will miss out on the growth you deserve. Take some time to calm down and get grounded before proceeding further. Breathe, relax and connect with your center. Then consider what to do. It's important to plant seeds that are going to grow into something beautiful rather than turn into a weed you have to deal with. Drum. A drum is a warrior symbol as well, like when it comes to sounds, rhythm, dance. Journey inwards to uncover insights and information that will be important for your path. Then follow the guidance. You are very connected to the other worlds at this time. The wisdom and intelligence of the earth and her magic surround you. The drum, which the drum, 
which echoes the sound of Mother Earth's heartbeat, has cleared the cobwebs and dust from your inner vision. What you have seen in your dreams and inner vision is not imagination but guidance, particularly if it has been coming to you repeatedly and has the potential to become reality. Dreams come true. Know it and live it. All right, Cancer, I'm going to stop here for now and I'm sending so much love. Do take care. Bye-bye.